teacher for 23 years and children with visual impairment are denied to participate in play activities or certain activities with the reason that they, they are not, unable to do or partly due to overprotection they say won't he hurt himself then partly due to negative attitude will he do it well won't he make our group to be the last if he's part of our group uh, what is happening here today is uh, we are training only two teachers and a head teacher here from inclusive schools on how to use braille bricks to teach children through play uh, with the support of Lego Foundation but also how can you use them to teach literacy and numeracy and those are foundational skills that we are promoting as UNICEF at lower primary but also in pre-primary institutions. Uh, in the training room, we have the Minister of Education, of course, that is spearheading this. Uh, so they are really there to provide uh, an oversight in terms of the quality of the training. And some of the teachers have uh, disabilities, different disabilities. In the schools where they are, they're actually the ones teaching these children. We also have those physically with vision impairment. Uh, the other category are facilitators. The facilitators are coming from centre coordinating tutors who were trained two weeks ago by consultants from Lego Foundation. I'm really glad to be a part of this workshop as a facilitator. It has enhanced me to understand the difficulties that uh, our friends that, who are visually impaired go through and the need to have them be, to be helped to come together in the education world. I am a person who actually didn't understand Braille as a concept, but because of this workshop, I have come to embrace it and I've accepted that it is a concept that is required in the education system. And this is something that was actually missing. It is going to enhance the inclusiveness of these children who are visually impaired into the teaching and learning exercises. What I've found unique with them, first of all, their texture. So they are smooth when you touch them. And most blind people like interacting with smooth things. Even if he's buying a shirt, he would prefer buying a smooth shirt. And they are light when you touch them. And though I'm totally blind, I'm told they are of different colors because not all children we teach are totally blind. So the different colors attract the learners uh, in interacting with them. They are user-friendly. They have print on them. That means even someone who has no knowledge in Braille can use them to instruct a child with visual impairment. Unlike the former tools that we were using before. But by way of playing, but they are placing the, the braille bricks on the base plate and then they form words and numbers. Write alphabets and read alphabetic letters or words, but not written on paper, but by way of playing. Of course UNICEF is here to make sure that at field level we have overarching support that the schools may require at the process of implementation, but also, also to make sure that the skills they have received are actually being um, uh, applied down in the classroom setting. And also to give us feedback in terms of what is it that we may need to adjust in the project. Phase one of pilot has nine schools. And we are thinking of having phase two with the 15 schools. And the, the purpose of this is to, to improve on rolling out and implementation. I didn't know how to manage and handle those who are visually impaired. Now, after this workshop, I am well equipped to go and uh, handle those children who are visually impaired. 
and help them achieve their dream of learning. And I hope that as we teach these children and enhance them in the learning environment, they are accepted in the community as people of value and people that are going to be of help to the nation as at large. Why am I excited? There are many more people I will help and who might be even more, much more useful than I am in the future.